Hi, D. Steve. My name is Angelica, and I am going to show you three things you can do today to help bring in more clients to your business. Uh, you know, Mark and I have a small business, and we're helping uh, sharing these free tips with businesses to uh, grow their customer base. And you know, we find sharing these tips can can truly help make a difference. And uh, we'd love to help you guys out. So, if at the end of this video you find it um informative or you guys think that we could really help you out reach out uh, call us back uh, we have our number in the email or just reply back with some feedback we just want to make sure we're providing you a value to you guys so uh, three things we're going to go over the first thing is content so on your home page you want to have at least 1500 words to be optimized with google you want to look like you're the subject matter expert uh, within those 1500 words you want to have your buyer intent keywords. These are the actual words that people are searching in Google to find your business. Um, not only that, but you know, if people are using your, your website as a reference, that definitely boosts the search engine power that Google gives you for your website uh, to land closer, if not on page one of Google. Uh, ultimately, that is everyone's goal as a business. So. Uh, let's say that we did search for your services in Google. This is what comes up. This is called the map pack. It's what we call it. Um, you want to be in the map pack, if not the top one of the map pack, because that's typically how consumers do. They're going to call one of these in the map pack. Some do search lower in this organic section is what we call it. But ultimately, you want to be on page one. You know, statistics show us that Consumers, they're not going to go search other pages. You want to make it as easy as possible for them. So uh, even like on your actual site, you want to have a number where they can just immediately press to call um, because, you know, uh, statistics sell from a sales point of view, we, they're going to go elsewhere if it's not made easier. So that's ultimately a business's goal. Um, one of the biggest ways to land here is with citations. Uh, what is a citation? It's your business name, address, and phone number when it's registered in directories like Yelp.com, Yellowpages.com, uh, even Better Business Bureau. Uh, those make a citation, and that can also have um, extra search engine power because it can make a backlink. So Yelp is a big one. For example, if you have your business on Yelp, that is a citation but it also can create a link that when consumers press that link, it goes back to your site. That's what's called a backlink. So, you know, Google gives you the authority to come up in this section when you have uh, a lot of the citations. You wanna have at least 200. Most businesses only average 20 to 30. When you have someone, you know, really optimizing your site, they can build those out for you. That's what we do. We can help you out with that. Um, so the next thing is your backlinks, right? So um, this is the bottom section. The keywords that you see here um, and your backlinks is one of the biggest ways to um, rank in the organic section. So what do I mean by that? So we have a paid system called Arif's that kind of just gives you more or less an idea of how your website's performing. So here's your keywords. Here's the actual domains and the backlinks I was referring to. So let's say this is what it shows. People are searching for courthouse wedding 30 times a month, right? That's what the keywords are showing here. Um, your backlinks are actual links, like I said, that are built out. This could be, um, you know, blogs, uh, guest posts, even informational sites. Um, so if we take a look at your actual competition that's coming up in this map pack section, um, here's what they look like. So they've got 1,200 keywords, 500 chin domains, 2,700 backlinks. Uh, the thing with the backlinks is they're not all created equal. Some don't follow, they're called like a no follow. Um, to where they're only within linking within their own site. You want them to actually follow to give you more of that search engine power through Google. Um, and what this is saying is that you've got, they, the, your competition here has 1200 keywords. 
And that's bringing 101 plus people a month to their site. That's what the organic traffic is. So, you know, think about what would 100 more people or 100 more clients come into your site do for your business each month. Um, that's a significant increase uh, in sales for sure. Um, so that's the biggest thing with the content, writing it out, making sure you have the right keywords within your site, uh, creating those citations, and then also creating the backlinks are the biggest, biggest problem or, uh, you know, issue businesses have because it takes time. You know, let's say you go to a blog site and you write something on that, you've got to fill it out. You know, there's a lot of them that are paid for or that are free, but it's a lot of work, um, just like it is for the uh, actual citations to go harvest that. And, you know, we can certainly help you guys build out the most effective plan. Um, you know, this is really uh, a difference in making, you know, your website, not just a, a big fancy business card, but actually be able to draw in more of that traffic. Um, we'd love to speak with you and help you guys out. If you found this informational, just uh, reach out, you know, reply back with feedback and uh, you can call us through the email. And we uh, certainly look forward to helping you guys uh, grow your business. Again, my name is Angelica. Hope you found it informational. Thank you.